So what's up guys, today I'm gonna be doing a video about explaining or explaining and also showing what are the skills of Skardu or the newest hero of Arachis Moba Skardu Sacred Dancer So let's go to the trial mode or training mode So here we are now in the reef in the game So first up, I will gonna be explaining and showing you the first skill So first skill of Skardu is she will gonna throw this spear dealing magical damage and also the damage depending upon the level of the skill of course and as you can see here you can see that there is a blue thing that is running so every time Skardu hits his, the enemy with the first skill they will gonna have this blood mark or this triangle in the head and then each time the enemy has this mark and then Skardu will attack that enemy her damage will also increase. Uh, take note, it is magical damage, not physical damage. So every time Skardu leaves a mark and then gives a basic attack, then the magic will stop. As you can see here, then in this blue damage thingy. So let me do it again. First skill. And then 70, and then 10, 20, 30, 40, etc, etc. And that damage will also increase depending upon the levels. And then also... First skill is allow you to hit multiple enemies if they are in the if they are hit in the range or within the range of the spear. So let's say for example here. So the enemies will get hit. The enemies that are within that area or within that range of the first skill. And also all of the enemies that has been hit will also gain a blood mark or this triangle in the head. So that's it do physical and then you do a magic bonus damage so I think that's the first skill and also um, hmm, let me think yeah I think that's all that's all for the first skill this one is effective for jungling I think for me I will if every time we're gonna use her I'll think I will gonna use her as a top lane or solo top lane and a jungler so next up will gonna be the second skill so the second skill will give you a 500 HP and then a movement speed and also an attack speed and a magic resistance for I think 8 seconds or 7 seconds 6 but every time you cast the second skill the only downside of the second skill is your life will also deteriorate or you will also lose life so let's say let's activate the second skill then every time that thing is activated I will lose my life and then deactivate it will gonna stop go back to the original so let me do it again Let's compare the, um, the way she walks now and how fast. So without the second skill, with the second skill. So it's much faster now. But her life is deteriorating. But if you're gonna tap it again, it will gonna go back to the original. So second skill again is um, give her buff, in, um, give her 500 HP. I think, um... Let's see here. Let's let's try and take damage to the tower and then use second skill. I think my life will gonna be given the 500 HP. Yeah, so that's it. As you can see there, but if I'm gonna tap it, we're gonna go back. Let's do it again. And then second skill. There, another life or another 500 life. So that's the second skill. And by the way, I forgot to mention another skill. Yeah, I, I, I was right. I actually forgot something about the first skill. So you can... First skill, if you hit enemy, you can stack your damage and then you can also detonate the first skill to give another damage. So that's it. It will give a not magic damage but a pure damage. So as you can see here, that is why it's color white. So I will gonna stack up my mark. And then I will gonna recast the first skill and then 120 damage. But why is it white? Because it is pure damage. If it's red, then it's physical damage if it's blue then magic damage and then if it's white it is pure damage so pure damage will um, ignore everything ignore the shields yeah pure damage will ignore the shield so this is very helpful when you are dealing with tanks or heroes that has a tanky build so i think that's it that's the only thing i forgot about the first skill and then her passive again is every time you will lose HP, your attack move, uh, your attack speed and also HP region HP region will increase depending upon how much of the HP that you have been lost. So that is that's the simple explanation of the third skill. So 
Her third skill rely mostly on her second skill and first skill. For me, but mostly it will na gonna rely on the second skill. So last one will gonna be ulti. So ulti has this very very wide range, as you can see here from the map. It has very 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 big range. If I was gonna compare it from the first tower, I can reach the third tower. Let's try leveling this up to the max. Let's try leveling it up if we're, if we're gonna increase. No, it's the same. So her ulti is she will gonna jump in that specific area where you you choose the circle. And then she will gonna jump there. Just some animation. She will pause for a bit and then hit the enemy. And the enemy that will gonna be hit will also get a magic damage depending upon the level and it will slow the enemy for 4 seconds so this one is very very useful if you want to enter in a clash so let's say for example if you are in the jungle you're busy jungling and then you see your allies and enemies taking clash in the mid and so you can use the ulti and then go there disrupt the enemy use your first skill use your second skill and everything and that's it She's, I, that's why I think she's very useful or, or very nice if she's in a jungle or she is an off laner or she is in the top, top lane or in the side lanes. So I think that's it, the simple explanation of Skardu or simple explanation and also some visualization of Skardu's skills or the new heroes. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, please comment down below, of course. And please don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, take care of yourselves, take care always, God bless buyers, and Jenny!